Entropy is a concept that measures the degree of disorder, randomness, or uncertainty in a system. It is related to the amount of energy that is available for doing work in the system. Entropy is important for understanding the laws of thermodynamics, which describe how heat and work are exchanged between different systems and how energy is conserved. Entropy is also relevant for many other fields, such as physics, chemistry, biology, information theory, and complex systems. To explain entropy completely and in detail, we need to consider different perspectives and levels of description. Here are some of the main aspects of entropy. Thermodynamic entropy. This is the original definition of entropy, introduced by Rudolf Clausus in the 19th century. He defined entropy as the ratio of an infinitesimal amount of heat transferred to a system and the temperature of the system. He also showed that the entropy of an isolated system cannot decrease over time, which is known as the second law of thermodynamics. This law implies that some processes are irreversible, such as heat flowing from a hot object to a cold one, or a gas expanding into a vacuum. Thermodynamic entropy can be calculated using the formula S equals Q slash T, where S is entropy, Q is heat, and T is temperature 1 statistical entropy. This is the microscopic interpretation of entropy, developed by Ludwig Boltzmann and others in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. They realize that entropy is related to the number of possible microscopic states or configurations of the atoms and molecules in a system that are compatible with its macroscopic properties, such as temperature, pressure, and volume. The more states there are, the higher the entropy. Statistical entropy can be calculated using the formula S equals KL and W, where S is entropy, K is Boltzmann's constant, LN is the natural logarithm, and W is the number of states 1 information entropy. This is the generalization of entropy to any system that involves information, communication, or uncertainty. It was introduced by Claude Shannon in the 1940s, who applied it to measure the amount of information that can be transmitted or stored in a system, such as a code, a language, or a message. Information entropy is also a measure of the unpredictability or randomness of a system, such as a coin toss, a dice roll, or a lottery draw. Information entropy can be calculated using the formula S equals K sum, P I L and P I, where S is entropy, K is a constant, P I is the probability of the ITH outcome, and sum means adding up all the terms to complexity entropy. This is the extension of entropy to systems that exhibit complex behavior, such as self-organization, emergence, adaptation, and evolution. It was developed by various researchers in the 20th and 21st centuries, who applied it to study the structure, dynamics, and patterns of natural and artificial systems, such as biological organisms, ecological networks, social systems, and computer simulations. Complexity entropy is a measure of the diversity, richness, and novelty of a system, as well as its ability to generate and process information. Complexity entropy can be calculated using various methods, such as fractal dimension, algorithmic complexity, or network theory 3 as you can see. Entropy is a very broad and versatile concept that can be applied to many different situations and phenomena. It helps us understand how systems change over time, how they interact with each other, and how they create and transmit information. Entropy is also a fundamental property of the universe, as it reflects the tendency of matter and energy to spread out and become more uniform. Entropy is not necessarily a bad thing, as it can also be a source of creativity, diversity, and innovation. Entropy and information theory are related because they both measure the amount of uncertainty, randomness, or information in a system. Entropy is a concept that originated from thermodynamics, which describes how heat and work are exchanged between different systems and how energy is conserved. Information theory is a branch of mathematics and engineering that deals with the transmission, storage, and processing of information, such as data, signals, codes, and languages. The connection between entropy and information theory was established by Claude Shannon, who introduced the concept of information entropy in his 1948 paper on mathematical theory of communication 1. He defined information entropy as the average amount of information conveyed by an event, when considering all possible outcomes. For example, if we toss a fair coin, the outcome is either heads or tails, each with probability 0.5. The information entropy of this event is one bit, which means that we need one bit of information to specify the outcome. 
If we toss a biased coin, where the probability of heads is 0.9 and the probability of tails is 0.1, the information entropy of this event is 0.47 bits, which means that we need less information to specify the outcome, since it is more predictable. Shannon also showed that information entropy is related to the number of possible states or configurations of the system that are compatible with its macroscopic properties, such as temperature, pressure, and volume. This is similar to the statistical definition of entropy, developed by Ludwig Boltzmann and others, which relates entropy to the number of microscopic states or arrangements of the atoms and molecules in a system. The more states there are, the higher the entropy. For example, if we have a box with 10 balls, 5 red and 5 blue, and we randomly arrange them in two rows of 5, there are 252 possible arrangements. The information entropy of this system is 7.99 bits, which means that we need 7.99 bits of information to specify the arrangement. If we have a box with 10 balls, all red, and we randomly arrange them in two rows of 5, there is only one possible arrangement. The information entropy of the system is 0 bits, which means that we need no information to specify the arrangement, since it is certain. Shannon also proved that information entropy represents an absolute mathematical limit on how well data from a source can be losslessly compressed onto a perfectly noiseless channel. This is known as the source coding theorem, which states that the optimal compression rate is equal to the entropy of the source. For example, if we have a source that generates a sequence of symbols from an alphabet of size 4, such as A, B, C, D, with equal probability, the entropy of the source is 2 bits per symbol, which means that we need 2 bits of information to specify each symbol. The optimal compression rate is also 2 bits per symbol, which means that we cannot compress the data further without losing information. Shannon also extended this result to noisy channels, where errors or distortions may occur during transmission. This is known as the noisy channel coding theorem, which states that the maximum rate at which information can be reliably transmitted over a noisy channel is equal to the channel capacity, which is a function of the channel's characteristics and the signal's power. Entropy and information theory have many applications in various fields, such as physics, chemistry, biology, computer science, cryptography, linguistics, and communication. They help us understand how systems change over time, how they interact with each other, and how they create and transmit information. They also help us design efficient and reliable methods for encoding, compressing, and communicating information. Entropy and information theory are also related to other concepts, such as complexity, randomness, order, and disorder, which are relevant for studying natural and artificial systems. Entropy is a concept that measures the degree of disorder, randomness, or uncertainty in a system. It is related to the amount of energy that is available for doing work in the system. Entropy is important for understanding the laws of thermodynamics, which describe how heat and work are exchanged between different systems and how energy is conserved. Entropy is also relevant for many other fields, such as physics, chemistry, biology, information theory, and complex systems. Entropy is related to biology in several ways, as biological systems are composed of matter and energy that are subject to the laws of thermodynamics. Here are some of the main aspects of how entropy is related to biology. Entropy and the origin of life. One of the fundamental questions in biology is how life originated from non-living matter. Some scientists have proposed that entropy played a key role in this process, as it drove the formation of complex molecules and structures that are essential for life, such as nucleic acids, proteins, membranes, and cells. According to this view, life is a result of a natural tendency of matter and energy to organize themselves into lower entropy states, which are more stable and efficient. This process is also known as self-organization, and it can be seen as a way of increasing the overall entropy of the universe, as the local decrease in entropy in the living system is compensated by a larger increase in entropy in the surrounding environment 12 entropy in the evolution of life. Another fundamental question in biology is how life evolved from simple to complex forms over time. Some scientists have argued that entropy also played a key role in this process, as it provided the driving force for variation, innovation, and adaptation in living systems. According to this view, life is a result of a natural tendency of matter and energy to explore different configurations and possibilities, which are more diverse and novel. 
This process is also known as emergence, and it can be seen as a way of increasing the overall entropy of the universe, as the local increase in entropy in the living system is compensated by a larger decrease in entropy in the surrounding environment 23 entropy in the main denotes of life. A third fundamental question in biology is how life maintains its structure and function in the face of entropy. Some scientists have suggested that entropy also played a key role in this process, as it imposed the constraints and challenges that living systems had to overcome in order to survive and thrive. According to this view, life is a result of a natural tendency of matter and energy to resist entropy and maintain order, which are more useful and adaptive. This process is also known as homeostasis, and it can be seen as a way of decreasing the overall entropy of the universe, as the local decrease in entropy in the living system is not fully compensated by a larger increase in entropy in the surrounding environment. 14 As you can see, entropy is a very broad and versatile concept that can be applied to many different situations and phenomena in biology. It helps us understand how life emerged, evolved, and persisted in a dynamic and complex world. Entropy is also a fundamental property of the universe, as it reflects the tendency of matter and energy to spread out and become more uniform. There are different ways to calculate entropy depending on the type and state of the system. Entropy is a measure of the disorder, randomness, or uncertainty in a system. It is related to the amount of energy that is available for doing work in the system. Here are some of the common methods of calculating entropy. For a system that undergoes a reversible process at a constant temperature, such as an ideal gas expanding or compressing isothermally, the entropy change can be calculated by dividing the heat transfer by the temperature. The formula is S equals Q slash T, where S is the entropy change, Q is the heat transfer, and T is the temperature. One for a system that undergoes a chemical reaction, the entropy change can be calculated by subtracting the entropy of the reactants from the entropy of the products. The formula is S equals spreads, streetans, where S is the entropy change, and spreads and streetans are the standard entropies of the products and reactants, respectively. The standard entropies can be found in tables or calculated from the heat capacities of the substances too for a system that involves information, communication, or uncertainty, such as a code, a language, or a message. The entropy can be calculated by multiplying the probability of each possible outcome by the logarithm of the probability, and then summing up the results. The formula is S equals KPIL and PI, where S is the entropy, K is a constant, PI is the probability of the ITH outcome, and LN is the natural logarithm. The constant K can be chosen to give the entropy in different units, such as bits, nets, or bands 3 for a system that exhibits complex behavior, such as self-organization, emergence, adaptation, and evolution. The entropy can be calculated by using various methods, such as fractal dimension, algorithmic complexity, or network theory. These methods aim to measure the diversity, richness, and novelty of the system, as well as its ability to generate and process information. There is no single formula for complexity entropy, as it depends on the characteristics and properties of the system. Entropy is a concept that measures the degree of disorder, randomness, or uncertainty in a system. It is related to the amount of energy that is available for doing work in the system. Entropy is important for understanding the laws of thermodynamics, which describe how heat and work are exchanged between different systems and how energy is conserved. One, there are four main aspects of how entropy relates to thermodynamics. Entropy in the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states that the total energy of an isolated system is constant. This means that energy can be transformed from one form to another, but it cannot be created or destroyed. Entropy is a measure of how much of the energy in a system is not available to do work, because it is dispersed or randomized. For example, when a hot object cools down, it transfers heat to its surroundings, which increases the entropy of both the object and the surroundings. The total energy of the system is conserved, but some of it is lost as waste heat, which cannot be used to do work to entropy in the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of an isolated system left to spontaneous evolution cannot decrease with time. This means that natural processes tend to increase the disorder and randomness of a system, and that some processes are irreversible. For example, when a gas expands into a vacuum, it occupies a larger volume and becomes more disordered. The entropy of the gas increases, and the process cannot be reversed without doing work on the gas. The second law of thermodynamics also implies that heat transfers energy spontaneously from higher to lower temperature objects, but never spontaneously in the reverse direction. 3. Entropy in the third law of thermodynamics. 
The third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a system approaches a constant value if the temperature approaches absolute zero. This means that at absolute zero, a system has the lowest possible entropy and is in a state of perfect order. For example, a pure crystal at absolute zero has zero entropy, because all its atoms are arranged in a regular pattern. The third law of thermodynamics also implies that it is in the universe underwent a brief period of exponential expansion shortly after the Big Bang, driven by a repulsive force called the inflaton field. This theory explains some of the puzzles and problems of the Big Bang theory, such as the flatness, horizon, and monopole problems. According to this theory, the entropy of the universe increased dramatically during inflation, because the inflaton field decayed into a large number of particles and radiation, creating a very high entropy state. However, the entropy of the universe did not increase as much as it could have, because some of the energy was converted into order and complexity, such as quantum fluctuations, density perturbations, and gravitational waves. 34 A third model of the origin of the universe is the cyclic theory, which states that the universe undergoes repeated cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle ending with a big crunch and beginning with a big bang. This theory avoids the singularity and fine-tuning problems of the Big Bang Theory, and predicts a dark energy-dominated universe that will eventually collapse. According to this theory, the entropy of the universe increases in each cycle, because the matter and energy become more disordered and randomized. However, the entropy of the universe does not increase indefinitely, because some of the entropy is dissipated into extra dimensions, and some of the entropy is reset in each Big Bang 56 as you can see. Entropy is a very broad and versatile concept that can be applied to many different situations and phenomena in physics and cosmology. It helps us understand how the universe evolved from a low entropy state to a high entropy state, and how some of the entropy was converted into order and complexity. Entropy is also a fundamental property of the universe, as it reflects the tendency of matter and energy to spread out and become more uniform. Have a nice day.